Rob Louie, or Bingo. Good morning, how are you guys? Good? <laughs> so just a couple minutes ago, we heard a story about how David from the Bible was chosen to be a king. It's an interesting story. How old do you think David was when he was chosen to be a king? Do you think he was a kid or do you think he was a grown up? Do you think he was a grown up? Anybody else? What do you think? He was a kid. He was a kid when he was chosen to be king. So let's hear his story, okay? God said to Samuel, I have a job for you. I want you to anoint a new king. Here's what you need to do. Bring a horn filled with oil to Bethlehem and look for Jesse and all his sons. One of his sons will be the next king. Samuel was afraid that God's job was too scary. The old king was still around and he was a very mean guy. But God promised Samuel, I'll help you. So Samuel walked to Bethlehem and found Jesse. Line up all your sons and let's see who will be the next king, Samuel said to Jesse. Samuel looked at the first son, Eliab, and felt sure that God would choose him to be king. He was big and good looking, but God disagreed. Samuel was looking at the outside of Eliab, seeing how strong he looked. God was looking on the inside and did not see the right love in Eliab's heart. One by one, the sons came forward to see if they would be chosen. This one? Nope. This one? Uh-uh. This one? Don't think so. Finally, they ran out of sons. Except for one that is, hey buddy, can you wait to press bingo until we're done? Thank you. <laughs> Jesse's son David was outside watching the sheep. They called for him. David come. David came inside. He smelled a little bit like sheep because he was with the sheep. Do you think that smelled good? <laughs> so a little bit like sheep, but his eyes sparkled with joy and love. David was just a boy, gentle and quiet. Samuel tried to see David from, uh, from outside and inside. This one, a hush fell over the room as everyone waited. Yes, God told Samuel. Yes, Samuel told everyone. Samuel poured oil from the horn onto David's head, anointing him with God's love and joy. And David would be the next king. Look at how little he looks there. <laughs> So this story tells us about a time when God picked somebody to do what God wanted them to do. And were they the strongest? No. Were they the biggest? Yeah. They weren't the biggest. They were small. This is a reminder that even though we might not be the biggest, we might not be the strongest, we might not be the best looking, we might not even be the smartest. But that doesn't mean that God isn't able to do some really neat things with us. God loves us and anoints us with God's love and joy and can do all kinds of wonderful things with us. What are some things that you think you could do, even if you're not the biggest or strongest or smartest, that could show God's love? Do you need any ideas? Helping people? Yeah. Yeah. Praying? Yeah. Could we take care of nature? Yeah, God's creation. These are all really great things. Should we say a prayer again? What's, what's her idea? I think you were holding her arm up. <laughs> all right, let's say a prayer together. Will you repeat after me? Dear God, thank you for loving us and choosing us just for who we are. Help us show your love to everyone. Amen. All right, you guys can head on back. You can press the